Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. I'm sat in a Tesla Model S Performance and next to me is a Porsche Taycan Turbo S. This is the drag race we've all been waiting for. What is gonna happen? Let me know in the comments box below before you watch the race, see which car you're backing. Let me tell you about this Tesla, dual electric motors. Combined, they produce 825 horsepower and 1,300 newton meters of torque. This thing is quite heavy though. It weighs 2,241 kilos. Price-wise, 105,000 pounds. This car has all the latest over the airways updates you can get on it. So it's the fastest Tesla Model S you can get right now. Now that Porsche Taycan, it's also got dual electric motors and combined they produce 761 horsepower and 1050 newton meters of torque so it's a little bit down on power it's also up on weight it weighs 2295 kilos and it's more expensive than the tesla 139,000 pounds if i tell you the truth inside it does feel nicer than this tesla but today it's all about the performance which one is going to win the drag race before we race, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss any of our drag races. Also, if you want to follow the guy who sorted me out with this car, his Instagram is at Tom underscore Ormsby underscore. There's a link in the description. Okay, so you can probably go follow him, find out a bit more about this car and say thanks for sorting car while out because we've been trying to set this up for blooming ages and Tesla and been able to get us a car. Sort it out, Elon. Come on. Anyway, enough of that. Now, if you want to follow me on my own YouTube channel, it's Matt Watson Cars. So if you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can go check out my channel. I review kind of my own cars and stuff like that there. Anyway, let's get on with this race, the one we've been waiting for for so long. Buying a new car? Head to CarWow to get offers from the UK's top dealers. CarWow.co.uk, the car buying comparison site. Oh, there's one thing I've forgotten to do, a sound test. So this is what a Tesla Model S sounds like. Now, let's listen to the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Hmm, all very peaceful. Now let's get on with the drag race, shall we? Three, two, one! <laughs> close off the line. I maybe could have done a slightly better job, but it ain't gonna count. It ain't gonna count. Damn! Oh! Tesla fanboys, burn it in the comments right now. Wow, that was a bigger difference than I imagined. To be fair, I think I was a little bit behind on the launch. I'm gonna try again. We need this to be scientific. Well, as scientific as CarWow gets. Let's run it again. Right, the suspension isn't fully low. I'm now lowering it. I know the Tesla fanboys would have picked up on that and been claiming foul. It's in the low mode, let's do it. I beat him off the line this time. Can he come past me? Come on, Tesla, come on! Come on! No way! No way. That's it. Suspension's low, ludicrous mode, latest software update, better launch. I got off the line better, I'm sure or at least it was neck and neck. Porsche beat the Tesla, for sure. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Porsche Taycan Turbo S completed the standing quarter mile in 10.3 seconds, while the Tesla Model S performance took 10.4 seconds, even with its latest Cheetah Stance upgrade. Now we're gonna take the launch out of the equation. We're gonna do a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. I'm gonna count it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this almost spun up its wheels. And it's got the edge on the Porsche, what's happening? And now the Porsche is coming past at 135 miles an hour. 
So low down. Whoa! Whoa! I thought I was going to hit a bird. Low down. This responded a bit quicker. There is a slight delay because we're over the radios and he's got to respond to me saying things. But oh, that Porsche came past in the end. Let's try something else. Looks like I'm giving myself and the Tesla as many chances as possible. So no one can complain. What we're going to do now is the same thing again, but the Porsche is going to count us in. Three, two, one, go. This still did pick up a bit quicker. So that doesn't matter about who's calling it in, but here comes the Porsche yet again. Oh! At over 130, it comes past. Let's just try another thing. <laughs> what we've got in the cars, why the heck not? We're going to do the rolling race again, but this time from 70 miles an hour. After all, that Porsche is German, so it's probably set up for the Autobahn. So here we go, 70 miles an hour, I'll count it in. Three, two, one, go! Ah! At the top end, the Porsche is superior. Now, interestingly, this has a top speed of 163 miles an hour, which is one mile an hour faster than the Taycan's top speed, but it's still pulling on me. It does mean though, that if this runway went on forever, I would eventually catch the Porsche and go past it. But it doesn't go on forever. It stops here which means the Tesla got absolutely thrashed. Still, Tesla as a company is worth way more than Porsche. I'm trying to keep you Tesla fanboys happy with something. Finally then, brake test from 70 miles an hour when we reach the line, full emergency stop, which will stop in the shortest distance. Here we go. <laughs> this pedal felt a bit squidgy. <laughs> Porsche does amazing brakes. And both of these cars, while they're braking, were capturing lost energy and putting it back into the battery. But the friction brakes on the Porsche are clearly superior to those on the Tesla. I mean, look, there's a big difference. But anyway, here we go. Answer the question, wasn't sure what was gonna happen here. I was surprised by how much the Taycan is quicker than this, actually. I thought it would be closer, but there we go. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Also, let me know in the comments below what other videos you'd like us to do. And as ever, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted whenever we make a new upload. That way you won't miss any of these drag races. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, it's at Matt Watson Cars. And if you want to follow CarWow, it's at CarWow Cars. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Elon's not gonna be happy with this. Should have lent us one of your press cars. Maybe they might be tuned a little bit more. No, I'm sure what the customers get is what the press guys get.